John, this is the little space my husband left for me and Timothy. It's not much, but it's home. It's a lovely place, Mrs. Rebecca. Really, it feels like a home should. John, I don't know how to thank you enough. Because of your help, my son and I didn't run out of food or shelter. You've been our miracle. May God Almighty continue to provide for you, so you'll never lack what to give to the needy. Thank you, Mrs. Rebecca. I really appreciate your prayer. It means a lot. How's Timothy doing? How's his health? I want to see what I can do to make sure he recovers quickly. Oh. Timmy has already recovered. He's back at school with his friends. Wait, Timmy's back at school? Isn't he the same Timmy who was so ill? What happened? Yes, it's hard to believe, I know. Timmy was tied down with malaria. It was so severe, I was really worried. But I managed to give him the last dose of so solution, and he bounced back like nothing ever happened. I'd run out of it when he got sick, but with the money you gave us, I was able to order more through a friend from outside the city. So solution? I'd never heard of it before. What is it? Yes, it's a one-time solution for a lot of illnesses that plague children and even adults. It's been our secret weapon for years, ever since my late husband discovered it. It's also amazing for treating water. Our city's water is so dirty and full of diseases, but this so solution purifies it completely. The problem is, the company behind it doesn't seem to have the funds or partners to market it properly. It's a real shame, because it could help so many more people. Wow, thank you for telling me about this. I'll definitely find a way to get in touch with them. It sounds like something that could make a big difference. You're welcome, John. I'll get you the empty pack so you can have their contact information. So solution. Who would have thought? Mr. John, I'm so glad you flew all the way from your part of the world. It's an honor to finally meet you in person. The pleasure's all mine. i had been looking forward to this visit. As you can see, this is our laboratory. It's ultra-modern, equipped with the latest technology in pharmaceutical production. Yet, your state claims the drugs we produce here aren't fit for consumption. They've refused to grant us the necessary licenses and approvals to market our products and provide solutions to the common people. How could that be? As a drug distributor, I'd never seen a facility this advanced back home. What could possibly be their reason? The country is plagued with corruption. A few notable people connected to the political elite hold all the licenses. They control the market and ensure that anyone outside their circle is tagged as unfit or unapproved to operate. We've tried several times to navigate the bureaucracy, but eventually, we gave up. It's like trying to get water from a stone. That's unbelievable. But if you think there's a chance, I'll do everything I can to get the approval. This product could be a game changer. Well, if you believe you can make a difference, we'll back you. We're willing to give you all the production you need and ship them up front. And with time, we can establish the factory in your country, not just to provide the water solution, but to create jobs and help alleviate the unemployment rate. I'll get it done. I promise you, this isn't the end of our meeting. We'll definitely meet again to discuss further developments. Even though this is quite unusual, for some reason, I have confidence in you. Let's make this happen. We will. And when we do, we'll not just be solving problems, we'll be making history. See you again John. Mr. John, I must admit, I'm partly disappointed with you. The fact that you simply snubbed my offer. Well, it's disheartening. I'm here again because I genuinely want to help you. I mean, we've both been in this business for a while, and I want to see that this opportunity benefits the both of us. Your influence would certainly give us an edge. Mr. Frederick, I appreciate your persistence, but I'm not interested in that. In fact, 
I won't be part of that business at all. I'm sorry. What? John, do you realize the opportunity you're turning down? In the past four weeks alone, we've shipped and distributed products worth millions. Man, you simply disgust me with this attitude. Well, I'll leave you to really reconsider this. There's no reconsideration, Mr. Frederick. I'm working on a different project, one that actually helps people. I'm looking to get a license for a medication called SoSolution. It's an excellent cure for waterborne diseases and malaria. You watch out for that. John, it seems you're the only one who doesn't know what's really going on in this country. The big players will never let that dream of yours see the light of day. It's a threat to their affiliated pharmacies and their control over water provision, still the number one source of their political campaign promises. Go ahead, try it, and see for yourself. You'll just end up wasting your last cents on that fool's errand. Well, I'll be going now. You can keep living in your hallucinations. Goodbye, Mr. John, and of course, good luck on your little journey. Heavenly Father, I come before you with a heart full of thanksgiving. Thank you, Lord, for your unending grace, for your mercy that is new every morning, and for the countless blessings you have poured into my life. I am especially grateful for the wisdom and knowledge you have imparted to me through my uncle. His words have been like a guiding light, steering me back onto the path you have set before me. Thank you, Lord, for using him as your vessel, for speaking to me through him, and for the clarity you have given me in moments of confusion. Father, you know the burden on my heart, the desire you have placed within me to make a difference in my community. The people around me are suffering from waterborne diseases and malaria, and it breaks my heart to see so much pain. I'm not asking for riches, or power, or fame. All I seek is the opportunity to be a vessel of your healing and provision, to bring relief to those who are hurting. Lord, I believe that this so solution can be a key to that relief. But Lord, I know that no good thing can happen without your hand in it. If this so solution is truly part of your plan, if it is indeed a gift from you to bring healing and hope, then I ask you to shine your beacon of light upon it. Illuminate it, Lord, so that those who once rejected it will begin to see its value, not just as a product, but as an answer to prayers, a manifestation of your grace. Turn their hearts, Father. Let them not only accept it, but embrace it, celebrate it as a tool for your glory. Lord, I stand before you, knowing that without your favor, my efforts will be in vain. I ask for your grace to secure the license we need to bring this solution to the people who need it most. Open doors that seem shut, break down barriers that seem insurmountable, and let your will be done. I am but your servant, willing and ready to do what you call me to do. Guide my steps, give me the wisdom to navigate this journey, and let everything I do be for your glory. I ask all this in the mighty name of Jesus, the name above every other name. Amen. Yes, let me go to bed now. John, do not be afraid. The medication you have encountered is indeed a gift from God. It is my solution, sent to bring healing and restoration to your community. But know this, it is not just a tool to bless others. Through this solution, you too will be blessed, as will your work and your legacy. The new Minister of Health in your country is a woman of faith, a Christian who seeks to do God's will. It is she who will grant the approval and the support you need to bring this solution to the people. You must find her. She has been prepared for this moment. Just as you have. Was that real? The new Minister of Health is a Christian. Was there really a new Minister of Health? I have to find her. I have to. I'm going to the Ministry of Health. I'll submit the application, and I'll find her. God, if you have gone this far to show me the way, then I'll trust you to carry me through it. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Any problem? Sir, you're under arrest. What do you mean, under arrest? Do you even know who you're talking to? Have you lost your mind? Don't you have any manners? What kind of nonsense is this? I am. The CP has requested to see you, sir. If your boss wants to see me, 
That's what you should have said from the start, not this ridiculous talk of arrest. Learn to do your job properly. I'm sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Better. Mr. Frederick, I don't know if you have been following the news lately. No, not at all. I've been too busy with business. So, what's all this about? And why did you send your boys to embarrass me like that? No, Mr. Frederick, this isn't about embarrassing you. It's about something much more serious. For the past few days, there have been reports of three women who reportedly used one of the medications you have been bringing into the country for their children. Those children are now in critical condition, hospitalized. So some kids got sick? What's that got to do with me? The problem, Mr. Frederick, is that the public has taken to social media to petition the Minister of Health. This particular medication has gone viral online. The original manufacturers have already issued statements denying any connection to it, and our investigation has traced it back to your distribution network. So what? A bit of noise on the internet. It'll blow over. And as for the new Minister of Health, she's just making a fuss. To hell with her so-called clampdown. You're underestimating the situation, Mr. Frederick. The new Minister of Health has vowed to clamp down on illegal drug peddlers. She's not just making noise. I'd been directed to arrest you, and you will be facing the full force of the law. What about our agreement? You were settled for this, weren't you? You can't do this to me. Our agreement? I'll deny ever having anything to do with you or your business. This is beyond me now, Frederick. You will be facing a 25-year jail term, and all your assets will be confiscated. You might want to contact your lawyer, though I doubt they can help you much with this kind of offense. You're not getting away with this, Mr. Frederick. I suggest you prepare yourself. Over the last year, approximately 500,000 people in our country have contracted serious waterborne diseases, such as cholera and typhoid, due to the lack of access to clean drinking water in most rural communities. These diseases not only devastate families, but also strain our already burdened healthcare system. In addition to this crisis, malaria continues to be one of the leading causes of morbidity and mortality in our nation. According to recent statistics, more than 76 million people have suffered from malaria in the last year alone, with over 200,000 life tragically lost to this preventable and treatable disease. The reality is that the lack of access to affordable vaccines and the prohibitive cost of malaria treatment has left many of our citizens, particularly those in rural areas, vulnerable and without hope. Honorable Minister, I stand before you today not just to highlight the challenges we face, but to present a solution that addresses these issues head on. The SO Solution is a breakthrough product that offers a dual approach to combating both waterborne diseases and malaria. Developed by a passionate team of doctors and experts who are deeply committed to improving healthcare outcomes in developing countries, the SO Solution is more than just a treatment, it's a lifeline. The SO Solution is a twofold innovation. First, it is a powerful water purification agent that can be used to treat contaminated water, rendering it safe for consumption in just minutes. This is particularly crucial for our rural communities, where access to clean water is a daily struggle and the source of many preventable illnesses. Second, the SO solution is also a highly effective, one-touch treatment for malaria. This medication has been rigorously tested and has proven to eliminate the malaria parasite with a single dose, making it a game-changer in the fight against this deadly disease. The treatment is not only effective but also affordable designed specifically with the economic realities of our people in mind. The SO solution stands to save countless lives and bring us closer to eradicating malaria and waterborne diseases in our nation. Imagine a future where our children no longer suffer from preventable illnesses, where our communities are no longer devastated by disease outbreaks, and where every citizen has access to safe drinking water and life-saving medication. This is not just a possibility, it is within our reach. We are not asking for a handout. What we seek is your partnership in making this vision a reality. With the necessary licenses and approvals, we can begin distributing the SO solution across the country, prioritizing the areas that need it most. Our goal is to work closely with the government to ensure that this solution is available and affordable to every citizen, regardless of their economic status. Honorable Minister, 
esteemed officials, this is our chance to make history. By approving the SO solution, you will not only be endorsing a product, you will be championing a movement toward a healthier, more equitable future for all our citizens. Together, we can turn the tide against these diseases and provide hope to millions. Thank you for your time and consideration. I look forward to your support in bringing this vision to life. Mr. John, that was the most compelling and heartfelt presentation I have seen in a long time. I must say, it was not just your words that impressed us, but the thoroughness and sincerity of your proposal. I want to inform you that we have had our top experts conduct all the necessary evaluations and rigorous checks required for drug approval. I am pleased to announce that your medication, the SO solution, passed every test with flying colors. It has been thoroughly vetted to ensure its safety, efficacy, and consumability, and it has been deemed not only safe, but a critical tool in our fight against waterborne diseases and malaria. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe this is the solution we have been praying for, God's answer to our cries for help in addressing the health crises our people face daily. Therefore, it is with great pleasure that I announce the official approval of the SO solution. But that's not all. The government recognizes the importance of this breakthrough, and we are committed to supporting it fully. To ensure that this life-saving medication reaches every corner of our nation, we are pledging a $500 million fund yearly to aid in the mass production and widespread distribution of the SO solution to those who need it most. Mr. John, thank you once again for your dedication and perseverance. Your efforts will save countless lives, and we are honored to partner with you in this noble cause. Welcome aboard. John, welcome. I must confess, I still can't quite fathom how you managed to win the hearts of the Ministry of Health. It's truly remarkable. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Matthew. But honestly, I give all the glory to God. Without His guidance, none of it would have been possible. Yes, John. In light of your incredible achievement, the Board and I have come to a unanimous decision. It is with great pleasure that I announce we're offering you a 30% equity stake in the company. And, we'd like to welcome you to the Board of Directors. Your insights and experience will be invaluable as we move forward. There's more, John. We are also establishing a foundation in your name, a foundation dedicated to providing healthcare solutions to underserved communities. This will be your legacy, a lasting impact on the lives of those who need it most. I. I don't know what to say, Dr. Matthew. This is beyond anything I ever imagined. Thank you, truly. You've earned it, John. Your dedication, your faith, and your unwavering commitment to helping others have brought us all to this moment. This is just the beginning. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. God bless you.